Hey everyone, Wannabot here, and welcome to Untamed Tactics The Beginning, a free prologue for Untamed Tactics, which should be out later this year. I don't actually know the release date on the main game, but the prologue is out as of today, June 9th, uh, or yesterday. I don't quite know when this video is going out. But before we go too far, thank you to Grumpy Owl Games and Raven Age Games for sponsoring this video. And of course, if you guys want to try this yourselves, just follow the link in the description below, and you can play right now for free. Uh, let's see. So one thing to know before we dive Let in, looks like this is remember. looks like this has got a bit of a meta progression to it. Uh, one wisdom to unlock, more gold from completing encounters and looting chests. Gather so I think it's a story-based campaign, but between every chapter, you get to spend meta upgrades and go from there. Which sounds kind of like Gather an interesting around. choice. I think there's a little bit more of an element of procedural Order. generation too. I've only got a couple of characters. Oh, I've got a couple of characters, but they also have different builds. So we've got Mortimer, the Alchemist, or Doctor. Oh, and they're completely different too. So reaction, heal self for two to three, gains dodge versus wind damage, decrease attack on self. Oh, protect ally from harm, increasing their attributes, stitch up. Stitch up an ally rapidly, healing for 40, 14 to 16. Increasing defense and inflicting bleed. Transfusion. And push. Versus... Magical damage inflicts torment. Push, uh, push all units around you for damage and push them back one. And a chance of inflicting poison. That's interesting, but I think I'm going to try the Doctor. There's also a third class that I don't have access to. We have a Thief or an Assassin. Poison Blade heavily poisons the target. Explosive Ooze Barrel. Rush and a Poison Shuriken. Plus, wind damage, inflict poison and bleed on the attacker. Versus, deal damage, seal some gold. Pish, uh, push, pish rush. Preparation, increase your attack speed and eviscerate. I don't know. The assassins seem pretty good. Like, I like the extra money, potentially, but I don't know how worth it that's going to be. So we also have Soldier versus Augmented. Okay, aim and shoot. Shoot with a pistol. Patch yourself up. Inspire allies and push. And then enact your vengeance, applying high torment. Versus, wind damage leaves a shock tile, increases movement. Grappling hook. And then lightning claw. I don't know. Oh, there's also parlay cards, which is just a whole extra thing. Uh, frankly, I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm gonna go with this. Grey coat being augmented, just grappling people in and then wailing on them. That sounds fun. Let's start game. The storm raged across the deck of the ship. The sound of the shattering mast almost drowned out by the pouring rain and howling thunder. As I shouted orders at Lynn to prepare the lifeboat, a massive wave crashed into the bow, causing me to lose my footing. I tumbled into the ice-cold water and was certain that this was the end. Luckily for most of us, it was the beginning of a new life in time. And, 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 what happened then? Patience, Marcy. A good story is about the journey, not the destination. But I thought you were traveling there for a reason. <clears throat> As I was saying, a new beginning. Dazed, I stared into the dense jungles of what could only be Stranglevine Ridge. I leapt up and started searching for my allies. That means your friends, right? Like Auntie Mo? They weren't yet, especially not your auntie. But they would be soon. Friends. Family even. Mr. Greycoat, Lynn, anyone? Greycoat stared at the sleeping tiger nearby. Oh. Quiet down, foolish chameleon. You might wake up the tiger. I'm on my way. Shipwrecked and distraught, I scoured the sands looking for my companions. Okay, so I can move this far. It looks like we've already got half of my companions. I'm going to just head over here. We've got X amount of movement. Abilities can only be used if a character has enough power available. Select an ability, then a yellow tile to cast it. So it looks like they are trapped. So we have Push, Lightning Claw. Thank thanks, Mr. Greycoat. I've introduced myself a few times already. But I'm Mortimer. Uh, friends call me Mont- Mor- or, sorry, Morty. My mom always said that- 
Focus, soldier. We need to get to Lin before the enemy wakes up. A enemy? What enemy? Oh, this gold mane here. Ah, uh, no, Morty. Not gold mane. The brightly colored orange tiger over there. Now hush. All right, so where's the tiger? Oh, that's a big guy. That's a big man. Well, here's the thing. I guess she's just going to come over to us instead. All right, end turn. Are we good? Objects with a gear icon can be interacted with. Okay, hidden plus dodge. So stitch up, transfusion, inoculation. Well, stitch up isn't that helpful. Two power. We've got enough juice. I'm going to do a transfusion. Oh, can I? Yes. And an inoculation. Okay, so let's end their turn. Now, can I swap characters? It doesn't look like it. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to move here. This guy is hiding. We've got the grappling hook there. Pull him out of that and hit him with a lightning claw. No damage, but we got him stunned. And I could push, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay, then let's have her go in the bushes. We have poison blades, rush, ooze barrel, and poison shuriken. I think we just want to do poison staff. Oh no, we did actually hit him earlier. Well, in that case, poison shuriken? I feel like we can just wail on this dude. So what's he gonna do? He's stunned. Good luck, boyo. Okay, no, not stitch up. Can I do a transfusion? No. Okay, we can at least do that. Give a bunch of bonus damage. Looks like going for those big stat ups works well. The parlay meter fills by spending power once fully charged. Uh, spending power. Once fully charged, you can use the parlay ability on an enemy. Unlocking special dialogue. Okay. Like the white tile to move? No. How does par? Oh shoot! Oh, parlay is down here. Here's the problem. He's just dead. The battle was won, but at what cost? I'm not sure. Mortimer and Lin clumsily tie the defeated tiger to a nearby tree. Ah, your fox friend spared my life, so I will grant you the gift of knowledge. I if my tribe found them, they would have been taken to Spirit Song Refuge to the east. <sighs> I warn you, do not mess with the Bonefang Rabbit. Outsiders are not welcome here for a reason. Lin deftly stuffs a piece of cloth into the tiger's mouth. That's enough out of you, good sir. How about we go and pay that little village a visit, sir? I'm wondering if the Super Doctor boost made that go a lot faster. The wilds are full of adventures. Click on an available region to enter it. Ooh. Each region is made up of various encounters, such as battles, events, and travelers. Click on a highlighted encounter to move there. You can only leave a region by battling your way through its many encounters. Okay, so we also get some more EXP. So we get some more stats and rune choice. Oh. I think I like this. After applying a buff, your next ability costs one less. Every time you kill an enemy, 10 gold. Whenever you deal damage to an enemy, a chance to find a small amount of gold. I like pickpocket, so we'll go for that. So are runes just... Yeah, runes... Runes look to be just like uh, randomly generated extra perks on top of everything. Whenever you parlay, cast commanding chat for free. After you hit an enemy three squares away, Chance to gain power. Every time you inflict a status effect on a net, on a tar friendly target, gain parlay. I don't know if I really like any of these. 25% chance to stun. Because... I think, unfortunately, a lot of these runes are specifically better for his base class as opposed to this one. 
Because I don't know how often I'm going to be parlaying. I think I'm going to go for that. Mortimer enjoyed the brief moment of respite enormously. Likely more than his other companions. Fewer animals around meant fewer animals to make him make them feel different. Mortimer grew stronger. Extra HP. Cool. And found. Defeat Baldur and his allies. I can see the village in the distance. The ancient wooden buildings look highly flammable. Whoa there, little pyromaniac. Why don't we calm down a bit, huh? Perhaps we can sneak our way into the village and get the captives out before anyone notices. Oh. If this were my village... Wait, Lynn, it's a trap. Get out! A fierce roar interrupts Greycoat. Out of the uh, shadows of the large hut, a dark hulking figure appears, his black fur bristling in the wind. A controlled rage flares in his eyes as a group of tigers appears from various hiding places in the village. Ah, there you are, intruders. Your filthy paws tread upon the lower lands of Bonefang. The uh, lands of the Bonefang. The sacred jungles of Stranglevine Ridge are home to Baldur and his people, not yours. <laughs> We come in peace, Loudmouth. Just give us our people and we'll leave you alone. Or are you expecting some kind of ransom in gold? There's no place for here for what you bring. There's nothing left for you to take. The jungle will reclaim all it can from your fallen bodies. We followed the Bone Fang's trail deep into the jungle to what could only be Spirit Song Refuge. Okay. Bonus attack. I can get him with anything else, and I'm gonna surround him. Can I attack or anything else? No. I can push him. Okay, so ooze barrel, rush. But I think we mostly just want to wreck this guy with whatever I've got on. And? Look at some money. 16 gold. A. Hey. And while I could rush to some of these, I think I'm just going to hang out. Okay, let's go over here. Because I might as well just repeatedly buff Grey Coat. How long do these last? I have no idea. They're just there. Ah, empower for two turns. Hey, works for me. It doesn't look like it can use these. Power used to cast abilities gains three power at the start of their turn. Oh. You can stock up to five. Oop. Oh. Just got a range attack. Ouch. Is it just those two? I suppose it is. Now let's just get behind this guy. We don't have any other abilities, so... I guess I'm just going to wail on him. I don't have anything else either. Yeah, so I'm just going to have to assume she doesn't have the capacity to do too much damage to me. Okay, I'm going to put an ooze barrel there. Move over here. Okay, move closer. Okay, do we want to stitch up? Let's start with a transfusion. And then see what it lets me do. Critical heal. Oh. Alright. More stat bonuses. Now, can we still move? Yeah, the one problem is I can't... I don't think I can attack. I could push and do some collision damage, but that's... Not actually worth it. Here, I gotta check the uh, settings real quick. Control. Do we just have a generic melee attack? No, but there's a reload level button. I like that. Okay, gameplay. Yeah, I think I think this character literally just cannot attack at the moment. I close that. Okay. Yeah, so I guess I'll just have them stand there. See what she ends up doing. Just a thrust. Not even a very good one. Though I suppose it did some damage. 
All right, he's been overclocked. All right. All things considered, I think it's my best interest to just hit him. Wait, push does damage? What? Okay, there's spikes. I think I'm just gonna move him in here. And we will just end turn. I gotta see what that does. Nah, I was really hoping I... I could've. I could've got her into the spikes. Oh, we, did, we do take bleeding damage from that. Ouch. I've got rush. I've got a couple of things. I guess I'm just gonna... Hit him with that. Then I'm just gonna rush over here. Another ooze barrel. That I guess I can't push in. Interact with that, we get three artifacts. Identified at the Altar of Mysteries to permanently unlock new loot. Ooh. How far else can I move? Not far. However, we can push her for obscene amounts of damage. Oh, we missed. Okay, Spirit Throw doesn't do that much damage. Okay. Easy one. Hello. Into the death pit with you. The enemy no. was defeated. Yeah. The party was safe for now. Round them up. You're our prisoners now. The massive form of Balder rests against a tree stump, he breathing heavily. With trembling arms, the tiger tries to get up, his knees buckling under his own weight. The bone fang will never kneel again. You better end Balder before he ends your miserable life. <laughs> Lin casually pokes Baldur on a, on a raw-looking patch of skin, urging him to shut up. Old sir, last chance, Baldur. Let us go in peace, and we will let you leave in one piece, too. Lin, they may, might seek retribution. We cannot just let them go. <laughs> sir, with all due respect, I'm not no longer a soldier, and neither are you. And this is not a battlefield. The branches and bushes sway as a large group of animals appear from the trees, spears and claws at the ready. A rhino steps forward from the group, her intricate robes and trinkets clearly signifying her importance among the rest. Indeed it is not. There is no place for such things in Stranglevine, Baldur. You should know better. Ugh. Please follow us outside of Spirit Song Refuge. There is no room for violence or its promise here. I'd rather just collect our people and be on our way if you don't mind. The imposing rhino laughs gently. Uh -huh. You misunderstand me. This is not a request. You shall come and we shall talk. And by the spirits, perhaps you shall live. <laughs> and yet, this she makes threats of violence. The echoes of greatness. Okay, so we've done that. So I guess we're going here. Okay. So what is this? Is this the altar, or is that a separate thing elsewhere? No! Surprise combat against Sometimes, a bunch of people. The only good escape strategy was to make sure no one would left standing to follow you. So most of the enemies are asleep, which is good. Uh, we have a restless shade, but it's very weak. But really, I think the answer is just fight this dude. I guess I'm going to go the entire way around. Hit him. Okay, reaction triggered. Oh, he's got a counterattack? He does have a counterattack. And luckily, push does, like, actually a lot of damage. Okay. Let's go here, I believe. Can I toss a shuriken at this guy? No. I can, I can after I hit this guy. Okay, he dead. 
We get a treasure chest, gives me a book. Oh, permanently adds to attack. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna give it to him. Okay, then we move here. Oh. And I can't. I guess I'll put a barrel there. I guess I didn't have enough juice for it. Well, luckily we're in a pretty good spot here. Boosts his damage a bunch. I'm curious about push. If I were to use it. I guess it's... No, it's going to let me. But I will take damage for doing so. That's unfortunate. I was hoping I could actually push my allies out of the way. I was also hoping I'd get another turn. This is going to suck slightly. enemies in a line. Oh, that's rough? Oh, no, it's just her. Yeah, luckily, they don't do a whole lot of damage. Which is great. How do I want to do this one? I have a push. Let's start with the push. Oh. Oh. Turns out that ooze barrel, uh, oh my god, what happened? Okay, so the re restart battle does not work as well as I thought it would. At least I can restart the battle. <laughs> so, what, oh. The Bonefang clan sent its expert hunters and scouts after us, and there was no escaping them. Okay. So, I think we're going to do it like this. Um, no, I've got to be here. We'll see how this goes. This might, this might be one of those fights in two parts or something. Mostly, now that I know that pushing a barrel is absurd, I don't think there's an easy way for me to... It only pushes one tile. So I think I'm going to have to just not use that poison barrel at all. Because I don't think I have an easy way of interacting with it or doing any damage. So I guess let's pop that open. Oh, we don't have that. Oh, the book is gone. That sucks. It's fine. Okay. Just have him go over here. Transfusion for that HP. I think we'll be fine. I just have to not blow my entire team up with an explosive barrel. Now, if I had a ranged attack of any variety, then I think it might be a little bit more doable. Let's... Do we actually want to do that? No. Oh, there's the Vengeance Shrine. Wasn't as much of a problem as I thought it would be. Okay. He's spiked and bleeding. Isn't going to do too much damage. That actually did a lot. Bit of an issue. Yeah, hopefully all my guys will be able to survive this, but you never know. Okay, do not line up like that. Also, my character is deep in the red now. How do we want to do this? Do 
This is a bit of a rough and tumble crew, to be honest. Oh, is he going to do the... I goofed that again. Yeah, I forgot he has a specific counterattack that hits an AoE. The only way to oh. victory was to defeat them all. Oh, I hate this even more than the last one. I do appreciate that I can just re-roll a fight if I don't like it. A stack of okay. books revealed the possible location of a scroll. Let's see, so how do we want to do this? I guess really the answer is hit him, push him. I kind of wish I could switch which of my characters go in which order. But I guess it's fine. We need the... This gets me the extra heals anyway. I think his reaction might also only trigger once per... Once per round, he doesn't keep countering. Okay. Let's go here. How does poison work? Magical damage every turn, damage increased with every stack. Okay, and we don't want to line up. We did that last time and it went badly for me. I'm actually going to have her warp over here. Oh, I should have... I should have finished this guy off. With a push. We were right there, too. Well, let's see if I have to redo this battle again. You never know. Yeah, unfortunately, most of these characters are just as tough as I am. But they outnumber me two to one. I do have more interesting abilities than they do, so maybe we'll be okay. And I am not betting on it. We'll see. He might be able to do like a double heal on his turn. At least he couldn't do anything. Oh, the other guy just died of poison. Sick. All right, scorpion sting. You got it? Yeah, bleeding poison. How much though? Doesn't say. All right. One way or another, already this is a considerably more positive outcome than the last couple times I've tried this. Ow. Okay. Hopefully she's got Rush. No, I think I'm still going to work on this, this guy. Alright, get him with that. We get him with a stun. Then I'm just going to push him. Or just delete him from existence. We get a book. Extra 10 speed. Ooh. Speed 20. Speed 22. Speed 24. I think I want to use it on... On the doctor. Okay, so she can do one thing and then a rush. Question, okay, so she can rush right next to the dock. Let's see, heavily poisons the target. Poison. Let's just, uh, hit this summoner. And then go over here. I guess I'm going to go over here. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Maybe. We'll see. Extra critical damage. Critical chance 22, 24. And 26. I think I'm going to give it to him, though. He's the one that attacks the most. Okay. And we have just enough to do a transfusion. And 
and a stitch up. Okay, so we've got a bleed, but that's fine. And I can still push somebody. Or an inoculation? Well, that kind of worked out. Okay, then we go over here. Big damage bonus. Then I'm just gonna push. It's like the mightiest push. Oh my gosh! I... My chameleon can hulk out. I... Sure. Let's do that. They're just gonna come next over to me. Devastating thrust. Gonna do... Too much damage, hopefully. Boy, it feels like everyone's critting today. Oak of Doom. Is that a worry? Five to eight damage. Okay, so the, the little guy is not as much of an issue. I'll keep focusing on their mainliners. I wish I could mouse over these and see how much damage they're going to take. But it's fine. Really? Okay. Uh, let's see. The range on that. Really good. How far can I put this barrel? Not very far. I have to try this. Oh, I can't. I think I'm just going to have her rush over here. And just stab this guy if we can. Wait. Does he do it? Oh, whose eruption is a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um... Right, let's just send her off. So that was a little bit more scuffed than I thought it was going to be. Oh. Can he not stitch up himself? Or themself? No, they cannot. Do I have to pick up those chests, too? Is the other question. Okay, at least that doesn't do a lot of damage. I don't know why my doctor is, like, so dang deadly. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna disregard them and go for the chess. I guess I'll push this guy out of the way. Okay, so we get a runestone. Damage an enemy. Chance to inflict one bleed. When using an ability on an ally, increase attack on self. Oh. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get rid of... Actually, do I want to? No, why don't we do that? Because I think that's a better combination. Okay, he's probably dead on his turn, and we've got plenty of HP. I'm just going to push this out of the way, which should kill it. And I'm going to just go over here and pop this open. Seeing as uh, these seem to be really good. They and we're good. Yet another obstacle on their journey. That was a bit of a doozy of a fight, but we got it. All right, so we get some stats and we get a new ability. Arcane Shot. Poison Shuriken.
or arcing concoction. Damage in a line and apply explode and burn. Oh, choose an ability to replace. We could get rid of push. I think I need something to unlock that. Okay. She's got pull. She's got rush. I think I want to get rid of the ooze barrel. So all positions with the enemy decrease their defense and crit. Rough shove. Some amount of damage. Or a chain pull. I mean, I guess I could try the ooze barrel again. What do we do? Why don't we, um... I think I'm going to skip these upgrades. Because the barrel was effective. Just wasn't... It had some issues. Let hell break loose. Shooting all in all directions. 17 to 22 physical damage and burn. Or melee strike that does bleeding. I think I'm going to go for the Ravaging Strikes. And we also get a Burning Rage Potion. Bleed and Attack. Single-use abilities. Actually, you know what? I'm going to Salvage for money. Because at some point I'm going to be able to spend this. The party is escorted to the outskirts of the Spirit Song Refuge. A tiger appeared with a wild look in her eyes. Did you search them for food? No. Let's have a look now, then. Uh, let's see. I fear we do not carry any supplies, nor do, nor have we taken what does not belong to us. I f okay, your choice will not be forgotten. You got nothing. Why are we even taking them prisoner, then? You actually searched them. Get over here. Are we just fighting them again? We're just fighting Before everybody. We were just... We were ambushed by unknown assailants. Well, here's the thing. Oh, wait. Oh, she's an ally? Alright. Here's the thing. No, I have no good ranged attacks. Is it just this guy? It is just the bruiser. Okay, let's... Give him the stab out. And he's got his Raging Blow, but it's not that bad, I think. Okay, that hurt. I'll put that there. And then I'm just going to have her bail. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to be using the barrel after all. But I might be able to do damage to him anyway. It says no damage sometimes, but I'm not sure how much I actually believe that. Okay. Yeah, pulling him into the bushes was not the best idea. But what else was it going, going to do? Might as well do that. I guess I should have started with the inoculation instead. But it's fine. Boy, this whole parlay mechanic is uh, wildly undercut. Okay, I don't get to control her. Is she going to just stab me? Nope, just hit him. And then we have the Blessing of Rain. Ah, heals. Not that big of a deal. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Here's the thing. Oh, we can get in here and push. Probably. Wow, he actually does a lot of damage. Okay. The bunny boy. I guess I'm going to go for the push. Hopefully we can get him out of there. Yes. Wait. Yes! Who's eruption? You fool. <laughs> I didn't even think I'd be able to pull that off. Uh, 
Here. I'm gonna go over here. Cause we gotta we gotta get him out of that. There you go. Decent damage. Not as much as I was hoping for. And he's gone. Defeated. The party was safe for now. Mortimer and Lynn look at the defeated hungry tigers with a pained expression. The tiger clutches her stomach with a pained expression as Mogara places a hand on her shoulder. Please do not bother our guests any further. They had ample supplies on them. By the spirits, we would have distributed it fairly, according to the law. <sighs> At least Rakan would have dealt with them properly. We can't have more mouths to feed and strangle vine. With a disappointed growl, the tigers disappear into the trees. You've chosen an interesting time to arrive in strangle vine. From the state of your ship, I take it you did not land here on purpose. Actually, we're looking for a place to... Damn. Indeed, we did not mean to crash our ship and nearly lose our lives doing so. You could trip and fall into that sharp tongue of yours, young rabbit. You seem to have people in your care, as do I. First off, you cannot stay here. Food is running low, and tensions high, as you've noticed. Huh. Even now, Rakan and his ilk are looking for an easy way out. You are outsiders, and will be blamed for the spirit's will, as well as our own failings. My people have done you no wrong. Unhand them, and we will leave you in peace. Huh. You engaged in battle with us, by your own fault or not, and my people are wary. I cannot just let you go. As a leader, you must know that know that are uh, must know that what you want and what is expected or needed does not always align. Ugh. What I can do, however, is let you prove your value to Spirit Song Refuge. The self -pro self proclaimed Frog King Laurent has been hoarding food and riches, violating the sacred laws of balance that have kept many animals of Stranglevine Ridge in harmony for centuries. My people are many, but too weakened by hunger and inner strife. Find Laurent, and make sure he no longer disrupts our way of life. Then you shall have your people and your freedom. I feel like she could have specifically told us about that before letting her people attack us repeatedly. But, whatever. Ooh. Traveler. So we get some runes. Permanently add... Okay, how much money do I have? 196. There's a game power at the start of turn. I said no. So we want to go for this. I'm just going to turn this guy into a crit cannon or something. Okay. Can I leave? Leave. Do we have an event or random? Uh, we might as well do events. In the distance, you hear the soft. Platypus is adorable. Soft sound of a lute, accompanied by a beautiful singing voice. As you and your party members approach, you see a platypus wearing the garb of a bard. Warrior poet and barbarian of the First Order, seasoned adventurers such as yourselves must have seen and heard many things. Could you lend me your aid in composing my latest masterpiece? Uh, let's see. Of course, Vincenzo. I live and breathe poetry. I witnessed a big rat trapped in some roots. He had been accosted by some neighboring brutes. I tried to free him to no avail. As he was really a spirit, I can he still hear him wail. Uh oh. Uh, his dialogue is just missing. As if he had awoken, I would be his feast. What do you think? Marvelous, splendid, excellent. You are a master wordsmith, a singer, song wrestler for the ages. I shall, I praise your name as much as I will sing this masterpiece. Soon you will be as famous even as I. Take this for your troubles. I mean, I guess I'll take the extra money. Oh, and there's just a hand over here. <laughs> this is very much in development, so there are going to be a couple of bugs and little issues. Not a huge one, but eh, it's a thing that happens. The wrists and feet unshackled, the party follows Mogara's instructions to the eastern part of Stranglevine, Stranglevine Ridge, where the Frog King Laurent and his followers were last seen. Sir, do you reckon this rhino will keep her word? What's pre preventing them from just tossing our people into the river while we're dealing with their mess? Hmm. She seemed like an animal of her word. Additionally, we don't seem to have much of a choice in the matter. There is something sad about her, like a b bad thing is, or about to happen. Hmm. 
is or about to happen. Ah. They did seem disturbed, yes. This Frog King, strangely enough, seemed the least of her worries. I wonder about this Ra Rakan fellow. Sir, another thing. About that tiger just now. I think you handled things very well. We don't want to anger these locals any more than we have to. Quiet, I can hear something croaking in the distance. I'll scout ahead. No, come back. <sighs> Never mind, they're gone. Oh, we level up. Sweet. Potions can bleed? No. Applying something on an ally, gain attack, or potion. Next potion costs less. Is this even a potion? Let's go with Mind Link instead of Channeled Power. Actually, do we? No, let's get that upgrade. Every time you crit, gain crit. Every time you crit, heal. Or melee abilities have extra push. Go for blood sport over pickpocket. Line attacks have extra range. Dealing damage in melee, gain parlay. Oh, he he's got the extra s slot. Okay, let's go for this. And get rid of target lock. Did that actually work? Yeah, he's he's just got three slots for some reason this time around. Well, defeat X. I think we'll clear this area and then end, end the video. The spoils of war were often a small reward when compared to the horrors of battle. Okay. So we've got a couple of these shrine things and some fergs. I guess I'm going to go here. And just stab it. I don't know if he can push this thing. You can apparently poison it, which confuses me greatly. Guess let's just go here. Okay. And just go for the kill. Now if I push it, it should die. Alright, we also get a runestone. Damage an enemy, a chance to inflict bleed. Honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of Death's Whispers, if only because most enemies do not survive more than, like, a hit or three. And so it hasn't, it hasn't seemed particularly necessary. Ooh. Might be able to do that. Um, I can only move one. So in that case, let's do an inoculation. I'm just gonna stack oodles of power. Unless that energy re cost reduction, or nope, that did work. Yeah, so I don't have anybody to aim at. So I guess let's just move down. Because we get an extra attack from moving, which I think is their um, their damage bonus misfiring. But I could be wrong. Because I think moving is somehow triggering a status effect, which is increasing his attack. I could be wrong. It doesn't strictly matter to me at the moment, but I would like to... Oh, I mean, hopefully the full release will have the Doctor's abilities make a little bit more sense and possibly not be so busted. She's on a spike pit. Ouch. I think we're still fine. Uh, let's see, where do we even want to move on this one? I guess really, might as well go right here. Hook her in. For him in? I don't know. His eyes are just slightly feminine. But why am I obsess obsessing over the gender of frogs? Aren't there gender like species of frogs specifically that can do a swapsies? Are my I, I know I know there are fish that can do it. I don't know if I don't know if there are frogs as well. 
But also, who cares? Uh, let's see. Now, here's the question. Okay, so that'll... Uh, that is just across the board. 30 health to somebody. Uh, you know what? Honestly, I'm gonna give it to the, the chameleon. Okay, so what do we want to do? I think we want to just explode this character. Let's see what happens. Oh, and we can parlay. Okay. Inflicts bleed. Enthusiastic bleed. Torment. Or stun for two turns. Horrifying threat. Huh? If you keep going like this, I'll forcibly make you eat vegetables. Please, I never meant anything by it. Rip it. All right, so hopefully they're just stunned for a while, which should make this really easy. Uh, let's just end turn. That's just gonna do a rain. But they're still burning, which is apparently quite effective. Wait, no, you're supposed to be stunned. Rude. I don't know. No, it, is, it is worth trying to properly gender even video game characters. It's nice to be uh, consistent. You want to just head over here? Yeah. I think she got messed up by something and ended up in the spike trap. Looks like it's fine. And turn. Oh, there's more? I'll go away. I don't want to deal with more enemies. You're really far away. But at least you don't do a lot of damage. I just wish this guy could heal himself. Himself. Sorry. It is so hard. Uh, let's see. Okay. Do you wanna... Yeah, I might as well just rip the, this thing to bits. Did that actually get it? No. We gave it the bleed, but we didn't do any damage to it. There we go. The weird part is, though, push is gonna do, like, the most. I think. Yep, there it goes. Bye. I don't know, there's just something weirdly busted about how... Um, let's see, something weirdly busted... No, we don't want to do that. We want to start with an inoculation. Uh, something weirdly busted about push in this one. It's a free move that does as much damage as a regular attack? For reasons. Okay, next up, transfusion. Now here's the question. Ah, it's not gonna let me. Couldn't flick bleed? Nah, it's fine. Okay, do we want to do another stab? Yeah. Okay, I still have the shuriken. There we go. I don't know if it's going to survive that poison or not. They overcame nope, victory. another oh. obstacle on their journey. So the, uh, the spirits don't actually count. They're just kind of random summons. Alright, so we level up again. Oh. Deals 9 to 14 damage with a chance to apply poison on the surrounding enemies. Oh, wait, these are reaction choices. Explosion that deals magical damage to all targets around you. Or purge. I'm going to do a broken poison vial. Oh, she does actually have three. Increase move by two and crit for 30% for two turns after being hit. Decreases defense of the attacker and steals some of their gold while you're at it. Go with the steal. So we do have an overclock. We have medkit. I think I'm gonna go fury. Okay, we've got one more fight. When Lin and Grey could arrive. Oh no, this is the. You know what? Yeah, you can tell this one's probably a lady because of eyelashes, which is just confusing. <laughs> When Lin and Grey Coat arrive, Mortimer seems to be yet again captured, this time by a group of rather eloquent frogs. Exquisite hardwood handle on that dagger, I might say. I must say. 
would look great inside of this oak grip, would it not? I dare say it would, Oliver. Nothing beats replacing something perfectly fine with something shinier, wouldn't you say? Oh, it excites me terribly. Our king will be most pleased with our new accessories, Ribbit. Give me back my dagger. Oh dear, Chameleon. Do you not heed the wise words of the Frog King? Everything is our everything is yours. If it has already been claimed, just take it from them. Very wise, our king, and wealthy, especially wealthy. In time, I, perhaps I shall be the next Frog King. Not with that oak grip. Not with that oak grip. You won't. Aha, Ribbit. Unhand the chameleon fiends. He might be oafish enough to keep falling into enemy hands, but he belongs with us. Th they belong with you. Ooh, the frogs? Mortimer, sir. I beg your par pardon? Ah. Ah. Yep, they're even calling me out here. They said their name was Mortimer. Also their name, sir, not his name. Ah, yes, apologies. Ugh, bloody civilian priorities. Deliver their uncareful, clumsy self to us immediately. I think that's why I was getting confused. Maybe. As the Frog King says, that which is ours is ours. That which isn't yet will be soon. That king of yours sounds quite like the quite uh sounds like quite the motiv motivational speaker. Do not mock our king, he is far richer than you are, and thus must be better in all ways conceivable. The frogs wow. over their newfound treasure in a bizarre showcase of unbridled greed. Okay. Can I rush? Yes. I should be able to get over and wreck this one. Is it just two plus some spirits? Might be. I'm gonna stand next to this. Get a book. Extra dodge. Uh, You know, I hate to say it, but I'm just gonna keep giving it to... Anything defensive needs to go on Mortimer. Uh, because Mortimer is the only character that cannot heal themselves. Did I mess it up again? I don't know. I'm doing my best. It's hard. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's... Ugh. Okay, so how are we doing this one? I move here. We're going to lose some defense, which I'm not happy about. But what else am I going to do? But kill! A mighty strike indeed. Okay, I'm suddenly actually very worried that I am on this. I'll probably be fine. There aren't a whole lot of enemies. Well, there's actually a second frog out there, but I think I'm going to start with that. Will this still let me do the explode? No, it does not. It's kind of supposed to. Okay, let's just see what happens. They're really far away. I don't think they're going to be able to do anything meaningful here. Okay, damage isn't too bad. Okay, lose some defense. Give me some money. Okay, death trap. Oh, is that directly underneath me? Ouch. That's eh, not too bad. Okay, this is a worry. How much damage is that? Oh. I think that's fine. The reduced defense was a concern. I guess actually it's probably better for me to just... Take that one. I don't know how much HP it's going to have left. Okay. I'm just going to move her over here. I don't think I can do too much at the moment. No, I should not mess around with that poison barrel. We know what happens when I try and do that. It always ends poorly for me. Oh my gosh! That 
that damage, though. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other victims? I guess I'm just gonna go over here. Who cares? What did I do? Did, did I one-shot that dude? I think I did. All right. Yeah, let's just keep doing that then. Chance to gain an additional power at the start of your turn. I'm just going to salvage it for gold. Okay, there's nothing else we can do. Can we get over here? Yes. Oh, wait. Hold up. Move here. Do a transfusion. We have a parlay. Can I parlay with anybody? Yes. You. Heartbreaking Tail. Deals heavy physical damage. Grumpy massive massive physical damage. Mm. When I was a child, I was lost in the woods for two Brr. days. Surviving out there for so long made you a true warrior. Die! How much damage? I <laughs> like half of their HP. <laughs> Tell a pity story and they explode. Alright, can I actually hit with this? No. Dang. Well, you know what? First comes to worst, more inoculations. For ev uh, well, I'd say for everybody, but only for my party members. My chameleon is just going to be obscene by the end. This is not working out super hot for them. Okay. So what do we have? Can't really do too much with the barrel, so I guess I'm just going to fight this thing. I, I guess that is the sum total of my actions. Okay, let's move over here. We got the hook. Hello, victim. How much damage? Pretty good damage. And then... I mean... How much explode? That's a pretty good explode. I don't think I need to do anything else, so we'll just end turn. Come at me. Okay, so how do we... Oh, you know what? I know how I'm going to do this. Wow. They've got some range. Which is fine. Here's the thing. Duke can play at this game. Ha! I shouldn't have done that. No, the treasure chest. Or... The battle was won. But at what cost? The frogs are lying on the ground, severely defeated. Severely defeated. <laughs> By the spirits, you damaged my stuff! Might as well throw it out. No way the king will respect you now, nor I for that matter. So stop speaking until you're more presentable. Uh -huh. so where is this king of yours hiding? King Lawrence doesn't hide. He awaits in his majestic subterranean lair for all that would pay him fealty and huh. respect. The underground cave, right here? Check. Yeah, I gotta remember to pick up those items, because I think I just lose them. Uh, use of the wall, well of, or wall of wisdom to gain knowledge and permanently grow stronger. Hey, so that was the shattered coast boss encounter. Final adversary awaits you. Oh wait, no, is this the end? If it's just a singular fight, then I don't mind. A group of frogs stands in admiration of a giant crowned figure standing at the far end of the cave. Oh, Lord Lawrence, how soft and elegant your silken cloak flows in the torchlight. I must have such a cloak this instant. Quick, find me some cloth. The large frog thinks for a moment, dramatically rips off his cloak, then points slowly to a red gem he's carrying. Silk can be found anywhere, and what everyone shares can, cannot grant to happiness. You are truly a visionary leader, my liege. Rubies are the one true gem. The others are pale imitations of your splendor. The frogs seem stuck in a cycle of praise and obsession. Their wishes changing with the whims of the king. Okay, enough. Let's all chill out with the creepiness. Return the rubies and other stuff you took. And we can be out of here. 
So much for a stealthy approach. Indeed, unhand the valuables, return them to us peacefully, and we will let you hop out of here in one piece. The Frog King laughs strangely, a mixture between rumbling laughter and a heavy croak. Ho, ho, ho! Look at these soiled clothes, these hungry eyes! You presume to tell me, the great Frog King Laurent, how to live my life when, are you, when you are barely scraping by! Ho, 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 ho! The other frogs mimic his deep laughter. Their high-pitched voices barely audible behind their thunderous croak laughter of the Frog King. Your insults will not stand. I am General of the White for Command, and I strongly Brr. suggest... Where are your armies, General? All I see is a bunch of filthy, homeless peasants. And I will show you how we deal with peasants like you in my domain. Frog King Laurent loomed in the distance. Laurent. His cavern filled to the brim with riches. Okay. Well, I guess simple answer is, uh, start murder. Boop. I was hoping I could give her another ability. But alas. How much HP does he have? 560. Yeah, it's a slight concern. Okay, I'm gonna put that there. And then I'm gonna move her here. What is this thing's range? Okay. So I think I can actually do something about that this time around. I guess he just dies. Because Grey Code has just become a monster. Okay, collect reward. Okay, so that's... As long as I'm not directly next to it, I think I'm fine. No, I'm gonna have to do this. That's fine. How much damage? And they should be very poisoned. I think we're okay. Nope, not poisoned enough. And the one character who really cannot afford to take damage here. I'll, I'll have to keep them out of combat past this point. Honestly, maybe even to the point where I just leave them at the front of the cave. Like around here and just have everybody else make the journey. Pyramid scheme. Okay, so effectively everybody in range gets extra attack, lose defense. Yeah, that's not surprising. Let's just get up and close. Okay, we have a treasure chest here. Uh, Muntil damage, boom, wide area. No, I'll go for the money. Are you... What? Hap ah, damn it. Okay, so that's a water tile. Let's just go here, clear the treasure chest. Uh, stream bleed to anyone around you, including yourself. Now. All right, and then kill. And kill and then some, dang. Ruby, base mental damage on target, oh. I don't think we do any mental damage. So I'll just go here and turn. Don't want to take too many risks. And I'm just going to explode them. I guess let's go here for a hot second. Grab the treasure chest. Get a book. Book is critical damage. We continue to put that on the crit, crit cannon. So, thing to note for myself for the next time I play this, uh, don't, don't bother with status effects. All damage all the time. Just raw re wreck em, nothing else. A little bit of damage. I should have given him the first aid kit, but whatever. 
Okay. I think we'll be fine. Really? That seems weirdly foolish to me. Okay, put this here. Move back one. Ooze eruption. Yeah, I think the explosive was, in fact, the right call. Damage did that do? Oh, I got a good heal out of that, too. Okay. If I move here, open this up. What do we get? Potion. Uh, sure. Okay, I can still move here. So here's the thing. I can hook the big man. Give him a potion. Might as well mess him up. I don't know if he's gonna live or not. We have a parlay. Scare. Decrease critical. Heavy decrease critical. Uh, I think I'm just gonna do a heartbreaking mm. tale. When I was a child, I was lost in the woods for two Burn days. Up. But my children never have to suffer through such an ordeal. I, the parlay system is confusing and really funny. Let me tell you a, a sad story so you die. <laughs> oh, I, I did not realize that I would be able to two-shot the sucker. I think I'm overtuned, which is amusing me to no end. Uh, well, I don't have anything else to do at the moment. And uh, they're just gonna wait. I don't want to do anything. Dang it. I think next time I, I will go for that heal move. Eh, maybe not. The heal on the heal on crit, if I could get that on him as well, would be upsettingly good. Now do I go for the treasure chest? I normally would. I should have just warped next to him and hit him, but it's fine. Because here's the thing. Whoop. Can I get over here? Yes. This loot will be mine. Even if it means nothing. More artifacts. Never mind. That was worth it. And then... From behind! I noticed my character mostly attacks by flipping his gun. The massive frog loses his footing and crashes to the ground in a deafening display of gravity. The remaining frogs quickly grab what valuables they can carry and scurry off in a similarly impressive display of greed. That's what you get for taking all those things that don't belong to you. Right, guys? Lenin Greycoat, not in agreement. Do not tell me you always choose uh, you chose to battle me out of the kindness of your heart. There's always a trade-off, always a selfish reason behind a good deed. Wrong. We can learn and adapt. That's what makes us who we are. Animals do not change. We are born with lungs and must breathe air. We are born with gills and must live in water. A king remains a king and a thief is always a thief. The frog king looks injured, but his spirit is strong as ever. Strewn across a cave are a massive pile of supplies and treasure. The jig is up, Laurent. The only thing you'll be king of is a cage. And look at- and you took what's theirs, and they deserve it back with interest. Do not think steel bars can hold uh, forms of such majestic girth and presence as my own. Bird song refuge will be mine, and you will be bringing me closer to it. The frog well, that was the end of chapter one. And we return to Mogara, triumphant. The fearless druid queen was... Auntie Mo? As promised, she granted us our freedom, as well as another gift. One that I did not fully appreciate at the time. 
the location of a safe haven on the outskirts of the shattered coast. The Bonefang claimed much of the region was said to be haunted. However, Balder led us to a secluded place on the coast that was said to be left alone by the spirits. Shattered coast? Wait, you mean this village? Yes, Marcy. The very same. But it looked way less cozy when you moved here. Indeed it did. The empty fields and broken ruins that surrounded us didn't seem like home when we first arrived. As a matter of fact, I wanted to leave as fast as I could. Hold on, so how did you end up staying? Well, that, my dear Marcy, is a story for another day. Aw, Grandpa! All right, we've completed chapter one. Continue the quest in chapter two, The Merchant King. Eh, for now, I think I'm going to leave us here. I think, I believe, if we check this... Uh, ah, chapter, got it. So chapter two, The Merchant King. Adventure, I guess, has its own kind of chapter system. Interesting. I'm curious to see how the, that goes. Now, I believe these are uh, kind Let of isolated. Ooh, additional ability slot, additional rune slot. I think I prefer the ability slot at the game. moment. Lessons learned. Because I don't have it, think I have any more wisdom. Extra EXP from battles. Whenever you visit the camp, a tribute chest appears with some gold. Loot. Additional ability slots. Okay. So effectively, small little meta progression to kind of choose how you, uh, how you grow over the course of these fights. That's neat. I really like this, actually. It's, um, it's got a couple of, like, rough edges here and there, but it's also a prologue, so who cares? I would like to see a little bit more detail on, like, predictive damage, just so I could see and kind of calculate and figure out my build. Uh, but also, like, dang, going for, like, pure raw damage and crit seem to scale absurdly well and status effects not quite as much. They were good for, fin they were good for finishing off, like, a couple of enemies with only a little bit of HP left. But it seemed like it was much better to just hit for 500 damage. Uh, but I'm curious to see how the balance looks when this game is actually, like, out and done and complete. Because uh, I really like the idea of tactics-style games, but I don't play them often because they tend to be extremely time-consuming. And so this one seems like it's a little bit snappier. I like the story elements, and they don't get too far in the way. It's not like we have really long dialogue cutscenes or anything like that. And so you can get back to the fights, but the fights don't take like 10 minutes each. They're much snappier too, for the most part. And I like the fact that killing an enemy, you can get a permanent buff on your characters for the rest of the run or chapter. Um, and it seems like you can do a fair bit of customization within that. As short as it is, it really did feel like I was pursuing kind of a build with at least two of my characters. And I think with some more knowledge, I'd really understand how to do it with all of them. But with all of that said, uh, let's see. I should probably mention that the Untamed Tactics the Beginning prologue is available on Steam uh, now to download if you guys want to play it yourselves. And I guess it'll be coming out sometime later this year. Let me double check. I actually see. It just says 2023 for the time being. So it might be a little bit of a random release date, all things considered. So... I guess with all of that said, one last thank you to Grumpy Owl Games for sponsoring this video, and I guess Raven Age for sponsoring this video. It was very kind of you, and it was a ton of fun. I'm looking forward to playing more of this over the next, I guess, couple of months, because I'm assuming, well, I mean, I'll probably maybe finish up the prologue on my own, but really, I'm looking forward to that actual release date. But for now, at least, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like, helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe, because I got tons to check out and show off. Over that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.